there's something God does when you like you excel with the little that he, he trusts, trusts you with. with. Yeah. I think more than 12,000 12, wow. in a month. Wow. Hey, sister. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Bernice, everybody's big sister, and welcome to another episode of Sister Sessions. It has been a while since we've done Sister Sessions, and I know you guys really love the, the, the segment on my channel, and you've missed it. So the call has been answered. We are back, and I'm super, super excited to have a very special guest with me here today. Please introduce yourself. Hey, everyone. My name is Nogutando Sikuti, and I'm the guest today. Yeah. So basically, um, you guys know that on Sister Sessions, I bring people who are inspirational. I bring people who have a good story to tell about their journey through life. And Nolutando happens to be one of them. So I saw a post on Facebook. Um, someone was celebrating you and saying how they're so proud of how you have maneuvered through different jobs and you finally got the job that you actually truly wanted. So just briefly tell us about yourself, like... Nolutando, who's Nolutando? What are her aspirations? You know, what is she all about right now? Um, what can I say? Okay, um, I'm very okay, it's gonna sound like a cliche, mm -hmm. but I'm very purpose driven. Like, I'm always one of those people when I want something, I go after it. Yeah, I don't know if it's grace or if it's the courage or mm. whatever, but I always end up getting what I want. Mm. So, yeah, I think. It's my inspiration. I just, um, I just want to be a law firm owner, mm -hmm. and I want to live my life to the fullest. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like my, I, I hope I fulfill my purpose on a daily basis, mm. basically, because yeah, that's it. Life is short, man. You gotta live your life the best way that you know how, and chasing after everything that you feel that you want and that you deserve. Yeah. So in this collage that I saw on Facebook or this post that I saw on, on Facebook, Nolutando had on different uniforms at different different selfies in different uniform. Tell us about that. Tell us about your journey hopping from job to job. Why and why you ended up working at those places as well. Okay, so basically I took a gap here 2014. After the trick, I took a gap here. So let's break it down. Let's break it down for the viewers. Okay. Um, after matric, you wanted to you started decided to study law, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You've always wanted to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then where did you apply to do law? I applied at TOEF. I applied at UJ. I applied at well, University of Benda. Mm -hmm. I applied at. Hey, quite a lot. Yeah. I applied, I think, at Words. Mm. I'm not even tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I applied there and there. Mm. And what happened? Why did I take a gap here? Okay, what happened was that we got to TERF. Mm. Well, TERF was like my first um, choice. choice mm. yes. So, when we got to TERF, there was like ish, a lot of commotion. Mm. And all that, so like babalubang chigis mm. and all that. So you decided to take a gap year. Hey, not really. Oh, you were sort of forced into a gap year. So me being me, you know me, ne? I'm just one of those people. Like I think sometimes I'm a bit of a danger to myself. Mm -hmm. Like example, um, I don't have fear. Yeah. So we were at you tough. just go in. <laughs> we were at tough, ne? Listen, we we're at tough. I think Pesande with a few friends from Middleburg and yeah. I went to a TAF mm. to apply and get space. Okay, we've already applied but we were fighting mm. to get accepted in, accepted in mm. because we had I'm a provincial acceptance. Oh license. yeah yeah. So yeah we got there so Baba Stiga Jigis and I lost my patience. I was like, you know what? I've also applied to University of Vendor Miss mm. let me just go there. Mm. So from TAF, I don't know anyone from University of Vendor yeah. person. So I went, I remember I left them there. We were wearing the same jean like the entire week. Wow. I was like, you know what? Now I'm leaving because yeah, it seems like I... It's not working key. out, yeah. So I went to, I went to University of Bender. Mm. So, you know, when they say like, 
God works in mysterious ways. Yeah. So I got into a taxi and I met this other lady. A taxi and she was sitting next to me. So she was like, Why are you going? I'm like, Ah, I'm going to University of Venda. Mm. So she's like, Oh, you accepted there? I'm like, Listen, I'm not even accepted there. <laughs> so she's like, Oh, okay, I'm also going there. I'm a student there. Mm. Like, who do you know there? I'm like, I don't know anyone. So Uzi, Venda is very far. Mm. You're not going to be able to come back. So I'm like, Okay, I'll sit oh it's fine. So she's like to me, no, you know what? Now nah, um I don't know if she spoke to her boyfriend or whatever, I mm. forgot. And I, I even forgot her name. Oh, wow. so bad. <laughs> because yes. So what happened was that that lady there we met in the taxi. Mm. I think she was doing a final year, so and I saw yeah. so I and she was kind enough to even give me her key. She was like, wow. You can go you sleep can in sleep my there. room because now I'm going to my boyfriend and I was like, mm. What? So like yeah, you can go sleep there. So and I did it pay to, off? Well, <laughs> I got to Venn and I kind of was a commotion and mm. whatnot. I was like, you know what? Now I just wanna go home. Mm. This is a lot. So my mom was just like to me, ah, if you wanna come back home, you can just come back. Mm. It's fine. Mm. So I didn't even go back to tell. Mm. I just went back home, and mm. that's how I took a gap. Okay, yeah. Mm. So like on in in matters of like affording to study, could you afford to study? I was gonna apply for and it's first, first yeah yes. yeah that was your plan yes that was my plan all right so when you started working at Spur, it was during your gap year ne? yes yeah so you did what from the onwards as far as your studies goes um after the gap year after the gap year mm. i applied at to I, I applied at university of Limpopo mm. while i was still working on space because i knew i was not going to stay yeah mm. i was just there for the year so mm. i got accepted at TEF. after that year i went to at TEF, mm. and yeah i started studying law and then I, i'm always i'm just one of those people in gym my things are never straight when i got to <laughs> TEF, like when i got to TEF. Um, we got there. I was with this other guy who was doing final year. Mm. So they were like, mm -mm, sissy, there's no more space in LLB. Wow. Like, what? Like, but I got accepted. But I was like, what? Mm. I was like, no, you know, more sissy, it was a comrade. Mm. Like, there were people that would, like literally pick from their queue and be like, oh, so what? Mm. And then eventually they to like, they were like, ah, there's no more space. Oh my gosh, I you can't see the way that gap. black people do things sometimes, it's just I not like, on. I can't take another gap here, it's mm. like no ways. But lucky enough, not but yes, I guess mm. it was luck. I got into extended program, so it wow. was more so like, like a another... gap here on top of yeah. a gap here. But mm. I was like, ah, at least I'm in university mm. and at least I'll be introduced to law. Yeah, and once I'm in my first, first level, mm. I'll be. You'll be I'll sorted, be shut, shut. yeah. So then you applied for NSF. Yes. Did you got you got yes, accepted? I got accepted mm. for a year, mm -hmm. and I think it was back then where you apply every year. Yeah. And the following year, I found out that hey, Baba, okay, I gave this other lady, and the lady didn't submit. Oh wow. Yes. Mm. So second year, we had to cover my own fees at mm. home. Wow. So uh, it was then I was like, you know what, hey, girl, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So I. I did promo jobs like during weekends. Mm. There were like apps of promotions, mm. and I worked for a, what was it? Like some sort of a promo yeah, agency. Yeah, agency that yes. does promotions. I yeah. get that. And yeah, and I tried Spur that side because mm. with Spur it becomes easier in a sense that once you've worked on Spur, mm. it's easier for a manager at that side to, to friend, connect yeah. you with that yeah. side. But uh, the problem was that from Etf to Epulukwane, it's like from here to within and there was no Agna transport around there mm -mm. damn Tef was like brutal wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> I've never been yeah. that side so yeah the mm. transport was an issue mm. like it was late and mm. mostly it was students ah, students were few yeah so transport was a problem so mm. I just did promo mm, promo jobs. work. Yeah, I also I remember also did promo work when yeah, I was in varsity. Through. They really really yo, do like, like your yo, like they help and it's good money. It is actually good, good money. money. I mean, it's a lot of standing, yo, it's, but it's, it's good, good money. money. I remember I was towards the end of my studies. I was doing like two subjects. I had no funding at the time. Mm -hmm. It's like we're celebrating like my career over. So 
I had no funding at the time. My parents were paying my rent, mm -hmm. and I had to like I had I had to work on the weekends so I can get extra cash, mm -hmm. buy my groceries and mm -hmm. all that other stuff. So promo is like if you're in varsity right now, you need a little extra cash or whatever. Just look for a promo company near you. You can make some really really good money yeah, as a student. That's good money. You can also go to spur. <laughs> yeah, you can also go to spur. <laughs> if you're a people's person, you look like a people's person. I guess it's because I'm a bit comfortable with you yeah. now. Because at first you heard, I was like, I'm not, okay, I'm not really a people's person. Mm -hmm. But like, I I adapt to situations. Oh, okay. When I'm forced to actually be a people's person, I'm You'll be a people's it. person. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm just a loner. So <laughs> I'm glad I got to work at Spur because yeah. then you meet different kind of people, people they yeah. challenge you. Mm. And once you're working in another work environment, mm. you can easily adapt. Mm. Yes. True. So you had no funding for that whole year True. of your studies. Yeah, dude, I had no funding for that entire year. Mm. And how did you survive other than promos? Like, what my kept sister, you going? My sister, you, my sister pulled. Mm. You know when they say your big sister is a deputy man? Yeah, yeah. Like she pulled through, mm. but like there were, she didn't get the entire amount. Mm. So yeah, you I had, had to, to do your part. Yes, yeah. I had to do my part, and that's how I got. Um, I came back to Spur. Mm. I did the jobs or jobs, mm. like your comments and yeah. yeah. So you did Spur like during the holidays. Yes, I did spend during my holidays mm. and during my, yes, during my holidays mm. and I did spend during my holidays and then on weekends I did promo jobs. Oh, so you rest. basically never got to rest, girl. Ah, to decide. Rest is for the day. Yeah, it really is for the day. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I didn't rest. Yeah. And, yeah, I didn't rest. I haven't been resting since. You still haven't rested? No, I still haven't rested. Oh my goodness. But I guess it's paying off. Yeah, right? well, it is, Shem. Mm. As for now, I have to work, 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 yeah. work, work. So you, you basically, then you got funding the year after that. Yes, I went back. Yeah. Yes, I and got, got funding. funding. Mm. But you still never stopped working odd jobs and stuff, no? Yes. I think once you you get used to your own money, mm. you get addicted to it. Mm. And you get addicted to working. And to taking work care of yourself. Yes, that, mm. that's amazing. Because mm. people, mm -mm, you can't really rely, can't, rely on yeah. people, you know. Mm. And I can it because you feel like you don't want to bother people. It, true. You can't be always asking, hey, I need this, mm. I need that. Even if a person is doing it from the kindness yeah. of their hearts, but they're going to get tired of it. It's true, it's true. At mm. some point, you have to stand on your own. So you finish the basics, get your LLB. Sure, I'm glad. Where to from there? After my LLB, mm. 2019, yes, that was mm. my final year. I went to Spur, then became the engineers. During holidays, we go back to Spur. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got a job at Beacon Gate from mm. there last year. You went year. looking for the job? Yes. Mm. Like, I went looking for a job. Because? I remember with my friend. Because you see, Pretoria. I was moving from TIFF mm. to Pretoria. Mm. TIFF, you pay like 1.5 rings. Mm. And life is not really that expensive. Yeah, true. And now you're and moving to. See, last week. Okay, well, I moved from TIFF to Pretoria. Pretoria. Mm. So. The cost of living the was cost of totally living different. Was, yeah, mm. and. Like, it's not what my parents are used to do. Mm. You're telling them, eh, the rent is like 5 kilos. I'm mm. like, what? Mm. So I knew I had to get a job. Mm. So I went um, job seeking with my friend. Mm. So we looked for a job. We looked for a job. We submitted a missing things, but with no luck, mm. unfortunately. But eventually, I got a job. I got the job on my birthday. Oh, that's cute. Yes, mm. I had to sign the contract on my birthday. Mm. I got the job and I started working. And luckily, you know, like, I'm a manager. Okay, where I've worked, I don't know if it's God's grace or what. Mm. But, like, where I've worked, they were, like, very understanding. Mm. I'd be like, you know, I'm writing next week. Mm. Like, Can I have some time? Mm -mm. Mm -mm, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't play those games. But, like, sometimes I'd be like, because with pick and play, uh, 
a lot of work. Mm. When you knock off, you're supposed to clean it. Mm. You're supposed to count your money with the mm. manager. So most of the time, it was time consuming because I was already late for class, yeah. you know? So I'd tell them, can I please knock off? Like when I knock off, can I please just shoot? Or can I please count my money earlier oh, mm. so I can leave earlier mm. when others are still busy with mm. counting their cash and all that? And they'd like allow me. So, Definitely yeah. God's grace, girl. I think so, mm. I think it was grace. So what lessons do you think you've like taken from pick and pay, spur, those odd jobs that you had to do? Um, what spur, what lesson have I learned on spur? Okay, what the spur, ne? Mm. At first, I know you're, you're a top student, yes. <laughs> at first, <laughs> at first, ne? It mm. was like 2014, it was very hard for me. That's why I got a job like in some odd restaurants mm. in town. It was like secluded, like no one would people, see you there. Yes, no one would uh, see me there. Yeah. So, what the spur, like it's the first entrance, you know? Yeah. Like it's the first entrance, like everyone gets to see you mm. and you stand in the door mm. that's the policy you stand mm. in the door you wait for customers to come in mm. so at first like i had challenges mm. i remember i had this talk with my cousin i was like yo now i feel so uncomfortable with working at spur mm. especially considering the fact that like I was a top student in mm. class with distinctions. Mm. No one expects you to be there. Yeah, know? nobody expects you yes, to go no work Yes, no one expects you to be there. Mm. And you'd have, like, you know how mean people are? Mm. You'd have those who are already working. Mm. They'd come, they'd make sure, we'll see, you know what? Smash yes. shine is like, we're going to spur. And we're going to shout, hey, Tano. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. And yeah. And then we go in and sit. Like, nah, like, I really feel uncomfortable yeah, with that. Yeah, I can imagine. So, my cousin just told me, she was like, to me, Okay, yeah, we'll see what you're saying, mm. but they'll talk and then what? The, yeah, yeah. That's what she said to me. She was like, they'll talk and then what? Mm. Because you know why you're there most. Mm. You're not trying to be a manager and you need the job. Mm. So you focusing on them is going to disturb you. Mm. Just Hold focus you on why you're there. Yeah. You're there to make money. You're going back to school next mm. year. So just focus on that. Don't pay attention to what people say. Mm. You know why you're there. And also God knows why. Like he, he put places you, you yes. in certain places. Mm. They, I don't know. There's a purpose behind that. Mm. And I feel like with spirit, I grew with spirit. Like I grew, like I was forced to grow with As spirit. a person. Eh? As a person. Mm. Because you understand that, like, you need to understand what's not my customer that's going to shout you. Mm. The you can't always give right. them the same energy. And mm. I feel like being a waitress, it humbles you as a person. Is it? Yes, it, like, it humbles you as a person. You understand that it's okay, this is my job, I need to respect my job. Mm. And also, in a sense that, okay, he's right. Yeah. I'm wrong. Mm. He's right, and I'm just gonna listen even when to the person is yes, wrong. Yes, yes, mm. because listen, the customer is always right. Mm. Like it humbles you as a person, and mm. you get to see different people, and you grow. And you be like, oh, okay, mm. can you not do that? You laugh. <laughs> yeah. You like, yeah, you laugh. Now I tell myself, it's ah, customers are crazy. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> but our customers like, are crazy. I'd be like. Like it was my sort of coping mechanism. Mm. I feel like so whenever someone says something mean to me, I go back and laugh and mm. tell the other waiters, mm. "Don't show so that." Mm. Instead of like holding it in, in and be angry yes. about it. Mm. So yeah, I think what's fair it humbled me and mm. I grew as a person. Mm. That's beautiful. How do you think you're applying those um, lessons from those odd jobs now where you are? I'm actually seven months ago. Mm -hmm. So um, with spur, remember I told. I think I just said there's a reason why God placed me yeah, in a yeah. certain environment. There's a purpose. I mean, yeah. So now I'm a candidate at Tammy. Mm. I'm still dealing with clients. Yes, you're still dealing with people. I'm still dealing with people. Mm. So when you figure like a certain client, I say, yeah, 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 you didn't drop my yeah. contract. Mm. Oh, and look, why are you giving us this child? Mm. This child can't be our lawyer. Ooh, I can imagine. Oh my goodness. Like my principal will be like, ah. She's our lawyer that look like one. Mm. Put him in a, I even look younger. Yeah. Like, Pillow, with, unlike other careers, with law, the younger you are, I feel like, ah, you're boss. Yeah. You're boss. Yeah, you. it's like you mature with age. Like, once you've been in practice for mm. for years, people trust you. Mm. So, my two men and me like, hot they be like, ah. But, my me look somewhere. Yes, yes, that's the thing. You mm. start somewhere. That's why. 
when you're actually serving your articles, what I'm doing right now mm -hmm. is still a candidate attorney, right? Mm. There's still that candidate, you're not yet an attorney. attorney. Mm. So you're a candidate attorney for a year mm -hmm. and you're working under someone, you have a principal, so mm -hmm. that person is responsible for you. Mm. So if I flop, my principal is to answer. Mm. So yeah, you learn from your principal, mm. he's sort of like a father to you. Yeah. Mm. So definitely the whole dealing with a different type of personality uh, it it's it helping help. you right now. Yes, like it's helping me right now. Mm. So I'd be like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. baby lawyer. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. Like, I knew you were a teacher. I'm like, but a client. Mm. It's just, I'm, it's not like I'm a customer's or sister. Yeah. It's just, but it's still clients. Yeah. It's people. It's different people who are coming into the office. Yes, with different problems yes. and so on and so forth. Yes. Mm. So what would you say to a person who's watching this and like going through the same gap here? You know, some I, I think for you, you knew what you wanted mm -hmm. and were willing to go for it. Like, but like there's someone watching now. She's in fear. He or she's in fear, in doubt. What advice would you give to them? Okay, I feel like gap here. Mm. You can take a gap here. You can take a gap year if you want to work mm -hmm. and if you show like if you are very disciplined because once you taste money you see yeah it's hard for you to go back to, to school, school true. because you used to income every month mm. and you are busy so if you want to take a gap year i'd strongly advise that you need to be very disciplined mm. and also you must like always remember i don't know how but you must always remember that Okay, I'm I'm here right now. There's it's a reason temporary. why God mm. placed me here. Mm. And just because Usespe and you know that next year you're going back to school doesn't mean you must disrespect your job. Yeah, you yeah. don't do that. Mm. Yeah? You excel where you are. Mm. I think there's something God does when you like you excel with the little that, that he, he trusts, trusts you with. with. Yes. You see? Mm. So if you excel with even if we are Shanela, mm. excel in Shanela. Shanela, you've never because, Shanela before. Mm. Yes, because if you excel in that, he's it means going to you're going to promote gonna, you. Yes, mm. it means Mario promoter with something bigger, you're also going to excel. Yeah. So you can't be undermining the job that mm. God currently gave you That's powerful. and mm. think maybe tomorrow you're going to be a pilot for mm. Shanela. Yeah. You see? I mean, imagine if you had not gone through the process of spur. And then now you're a candidate attorney, you're dealing with different clients with different personalities. I think in some ways you might not have been, you might not be responding the way that you are responding now yeah, yeah. if you had not had that experience from Spur. Sure, mm. that's, that's definitely true. Because, yes, once you excel at Spur, mm. you're obviously going to excel as a lawyer. Mm. That's just how it is. Mm. And if you excel at Spur, God is actually gonna give you more opportunities yeah and then also up. you never know where life places you mm. because this year it's a spare so you just ah mm. you just ah you're mm. just doing it for the sake of doing it mm. what if like god was like ah, ah lord i like 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 mm. until 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 mm. and also even now like you like you never know like Today, Ulala, Sante, I don't know, you pilot. Mm. Tomorrow, you are retrenched. Ish. So, you see, you Mina, might need to go to Spur, basically. And then, were you even excelling? Mm. Why would they take exactly. you back if mm. you weren't giving them your all? The if mm. you weren't taking the job seriously? Mm. Because, you see, with me at Spur, I remember that's I was training to last year, um, last year, December. Mm. After my final year, I had to go to law school. Mm. The school is expensive. Mm. Yeah? So law school is expensive and they need that money mm. before you can start your wow. classes. So I like, I talked to my manager, I was like, yeah, dude, I need to raise money for law school. Mm. Yeah? So she was like, okay, when are you finishing your exams? I told her, I was like, I'm finishing my exams in late November. Mm. So she was like, no, you can come back to school. But once she has a case, yeah, okay. Because I started at school. As for a week waiter. as a waitress mm. and then i was promoted into being a cashier okay so with being a cashier there's no money like being a waitress now mm. so i asked to be a waitress and she was like okay it's cool because spare was now my family now mm. they were my family in such a point that 
like it was open everyone knew that i had you to go to law school. law school yes so sometimes you have to reach targets for your mm. money for your salary to to be good yeah so, so sometimes whenever there's like i'm a target like you need to sell my sauces mm. you need to sell my top hats like you'd have like all the waiters like at spur eh? mm. they'd come and be like tano here the table we're gonna have my top hats no. and everyone like it was that teamwork like yeah. everyone knew that like they'd be said they'd be asking me hey, so I'm top up saying that mm. like, I'm 15 so mm. everyone would just come to me and, now I'm a top up, now I'm a top mm. and i was able to raise I think more than twelve thousand, twelve thousand wow. in a month. Right? Wow! I raised that much money in like yes, in a month from waitressing alone. Wow, guys! I, I remember I was a zombie, bruh. <laughs> you had to zombie. work. Yes, I had to work like, double shifts. Mm. Like, I had to work. I had to work, but I knew like it was going to pay. Yes, off. I knew it was going to pay off, so mm. I was able to pay for law school. Mm. So at least with my pick and pay job i mm. had to pay basics for yeah. my place and mm. all that so but i had already raised money for, for, law, school. for law school wow that is so impressive that is so crazy like mm. you see the grace of god mm. coupled with hard work and dedication mm -hmm. can get you places imagine raising twelve thousand rand at a restaurant as a waitress i mean some people don't make that much in like months even a whole year yeah, like, so being a waitress does mm. money because like December it's busy, very mm. busy. So during the during during the week you'd mm. go home and if Uzmisemi like you'd go home with like three hundred. Mm. So weekends you'd like take home on a seven, eight hundred a day. So we don't tip people who are rude to us. Yeah. I know personally that I don't tip people who are yes, rude to us. Well, yeah. yeah. Yes. So I mean that's in, that's inspiring, hey. I think your dedication and your hard work is really, really, really inspiring. And I hope that anyone who's watching and wants to chase after their dreams, they hear it firsthand here on Sister Sessions, what it is possible. You might have a few hurdles here and there. You might get rejected by vets. You might get to turf with all the commotion on as good to which yellow will put you yellow goopy. But just centering yourself, refocusing and going for it, you can still get it and you can still make it happen. Oh, yeah. So what general life advice would you give to the sisters watching? no one owes you anything love that mm. no one owes you anything because mm. you'd feel like but i need to go to law school my mom can like should be paying for it yes but mm. like an actual fact no one owes you anything mm. you owe yourself everything mm. so you know what you want go after it there are mm. no excuses really, they really are. you can always work you can always there's always a hustle in your mm. Like there's always something that God gave you. Like yes, and God gives us. There's always something, and we that know what gives all you. of us know exactly what God yes, gave us. It's just that us fool ways. Yeah, because we become lazy, we feel entitled, we and have all pride. That. Ah, pride. Yeah, yes, pula, pride. pride. But but and, you are, and you run away from. Mm. And yeah, we run away from your tips that mm. you're supposed to be mm. raising for something mm. greater. So pride is not going to take you anyway, mm. and you owe yourself the things that. You, you want for yourself you want for yourself mm. so if you want to be i don't know a doctor a business woman a youtuber, business, a whatever. YouTuber. yes if you mm. want to be a youtuber you need to watch our baby you see you watch them <laughs> mm. you take care from here and there mm. like you you grow that you net you nurture your talents mm. or you work hard but like don't just, just chill chill yeah chill. for what life is short and, and life is expensive yes life is expensive you can't always be bothering people mm. and all that no one owes you everything mm. anything mm. you owe yourself everything so go after your dreams don't make excuses mm. work hard excel where god places you mm. so yeah oh i love that you're a smart little person eh? <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm just going to ask uh, Nolutando some sister sessions questions that I ask all my guests. By the way, I haven't asked my guests these questions in a long time. I tend to forget. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I'm just like, you know what? We're back with sister sessions. Let's do it the right way. So I'm just going to close off by asking her these personal. Okay, they're not personal. They're just to get to you know you a little better. Okay. Um, what do you think is your best feature? My eyes. Oh, <laughs> they are pretty. Okay. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Do you have one? <laughs> celebrity crush. Mm. Um, oh, 
Hope my boyfriend's not one. <laughs> but yeah, my celebrity crush is Dwayne Wade. Mm, the Rock. No, Dwayne Wade. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. You are. Um, what's name one? Dwayne Gabriel's husband. Oh, Gabriel Union's husband. I'm crushing on Why that entire family. Oh, okay, family. I love the mother. I love <laughs> the, the kid. Yeah. I love the father. Oh. I wouldn't mind being his team, you guys. <laughs> Uh, what would you say is your secret fetish? Or even if it's not a secret? Hands. Hands? Hands. You have a thing for hands? I have a thing for hands. What kind of hands? Like clean hands. Like It's so awkward because when a guy approaches me, I just mm. check the hands. I'll be like, you man just got you. You want me to go Yeah, I know. I get it. And number five, I'm going to go to the house. They're always dry. Yo, I mean a dry, bro. And they're not clean. It's very clean. Yeah. And they must come to brush beauty barn and get a bath and all of that so if you could get like in god forbid mm -hmm. you got into an altercation or accident or whatever and the paramedics had to cut your clothes off would you be okay with them seeing your underwear yes it's decent yes <laughs> <laughs> unless i don't know unless i'm wearing my coat and yeah, yes, no, one's, like, no one has a shoot period. But otherwise, uh, you, yeah, you're good yeah, to go. Yeah, you can do the things. <laughs> okay, what is your advice to women? Advice to women is like, you enough. Mm -hmm. First things first, you enough. You're True. beautiful as you are. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like a lot of women, they suffer from insecurity. Yeah. I myself, you, I've suffered, especially I had bad skin like, oh. for, a period, for a certain period. And mm. I don't want to lie that, like, like it, it tempers with the insecurity. Yeah. Yes, like you feel like you're like more often no money speed. Yeah. So like my advice to women is that you enough. Mm. Like the way you are. Like you enough. The way you're supposed to yes, be. Yes, like mm. you enough. And also, men don't owe you anything. <laughs> Again. <laughs> no one owes you anything. Yeah. Work hard, do your thing and mm. make sure you excel. Sure. Love it. Right, that is it from us, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed watching and I hope that you enjoyed hearing the type of story I certainly did. Um, it didn't really go the way that I thought it would go, your story, but it's better. Okay. Trust me, it's better than what I thought. <laughs> so I'm really inspired by you and I wish you all the best um, through your candidacy. Is that what it's called? Yes. Yes, and I hope that you finish it successfully I hope I and was. I hope that you get your dream job. You've been through all the other jobs. You deserve your dream job. Yeah, I, I deserve that mm. candidate being removed from the Yeah, team. and having a turn. Yes. Mm. Thank you so, so much. So thank you so much for making the time to come to this Thank session. you. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be so uncomfortable. but I think Everybody thinks that, and it's never the case. Uh, it's never. I think mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was, I was so at ease. Mm. Like It was easy for me to share. Yeah. I don't feel like overwhelmed or anything like mm. that. So... Thank you for having me. I hope it inspires. Mm. Hope it's my brand anyway. Yeah. So I hope it inspires. I hope like people learn from it. Even mm. if it's two like two people. Even it's if not you about reach the one numbers. person, it's, it's not an, someone's life numbers. must be yes. changed. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for having me. Sure thing. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you so much for watching, sisters. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Send some love. No time goes away. Send some love my way. Thank you so much for your support. Love you. Bye.